What's going on guys, it's Tang, and we're doing a weekly comic vlog, Most li more, more like my weekly pool for what I buy in terms of comic books. So I'm gonna, like, I'm, tr I'm gonna try to make this a weekly thing, but since I've been studying and working, it's been pretty hard to keep up. But for this video, I'm gonna show, like last time, uh, the comic book I bought for the week of March. Uh, it's the week. Well, it's the last week of March. I don't. I don't pay attention anymore to those days. When you get out of school, you you, you tend to forget what day it is. <laughs> but it's a Wednesday. So yeah. Anyway, so for my stuff that I got, we'll start with. Um, I guess we can start with the Marvel stuff, and which I can say I love here. Yeah, this is silk. Oh wow, there's a glare right there. Okay, hold up. There you go, that's better. So, um, Silk number one. Um, I showed you guys Silk number two, and I really like this series because it's got an anime feel to it. No, no lot of focus. Man, it's hard to see. Silk number one. It's got an anime uh, look to it, so it's really cool. And next one I got was uh, Spider-Verse Gwen Stacy. Yeah. So hard, oh my god. Spider vs. Gwen Stacy, I really like Gwen Stacy's character, um, since I watched the Amazing Spider-Man films with Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. Um, I fell in love with the Gwen Stacy character, so since hearing that she got her own series and that she's Spider-Woman, um, I had to get the series. I had to get this issue because it's basically her introduction. And I'm loving it so far. Because now Gwen Stacy's the main character, she's the Peter Parker of the series. So next up is uh, Lady Death number one. This is, I think it, last week I showed you Lady Death Apocalypse number two. This is the first issue, and so this, what is it? I don't, have I read this one? I don't think I read this one yet. I read the other ones that I've bought so far. I read fast. But, I gotta read this one, so I gotta put this on the read later. Yeah, okay. Read later. I will read that later. Okay, next up is a variant cover of Lady Death number one, um, Lady Death Apocalypse number one. It's leather. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really hard to see that. Oh my god. Ugh. Holy crud. It's hard to see that. Um, it's leather cover. Basically the same issue um, that I showed just now. But it's leather. Wow, when you have a black black cover, it's hard to show in a video. Oh my god. It's like what the Okay, I had to yeah, I had to show the light. Wow, okay. My pool has been a little inflated because now it's, we're going to go to old stuff, basically. Um, I think I showed prior that I bought a, a series called Zombie Tramp, so I read it, I really liked it. So I bought, um, volume, like, all the current issues for the new series, which is volume 3. But I did manage to find one of the older issues from volume 2, it's Zombie Tramp number 2. Yeah. The art's done by Mendoza, and I'll comment about this later. But um, it's basically a prostitute who gets turned into a zombie while on the job. She revives as a zombie. Um, she gets revenge for to get people who did this to her. I think I'm not sure about Volume Two. I only know about Volume Three. Um, but but Volume Two, that's Volume One actually. She gets revived. Zombie in Volume Two, she meets like a. A little girl that wants her to kill her parents. It's kind of weird, but um, with this series, she needs to eat human flesh to satiate her hunger. I mean, she is a zombie after all. <laughs> but um, she manages to blend into the humans population because she has a Necronomicon, which she uses to blend in and turn herself human or make herself look human. It's a pretty good series. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show like every issue I bought so far for volume 3. This is Zombie Tramp number 1. And Zombie Tramp number 2. They, as I show, they become increasingly risque and nudity may occur. Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? I'm not sure. <laughs> so for um, these first four issues, I believe, she's um, she's on the road to get revenge on her first pimp, I think. This is Black Pimp. 
she's headed to Florida, but while she's on the road, she uh, first ends up on Las Vegas, which is the first four issues. And she meets a zombie pimp who wants to marry her because she wants to, he wants to know why she can think for herself and how she looks human. Oh, see, like the wedding dress, that's a... And what's interesting is that these first four issues, the art is done by TM2. The, uh, when the series first started out, it was drawn by Mendoza. Dan Mendoza or something Mendoza. I, I much prefer TM2's art because he's an... I know the artist... Well, I know, I know who this artist is. I actually know who this artist is in terms of what kind of art he does, and I find his art more appealing. But that's because he, he makes a, a, a more adult looking content, so yeah, I'm not gonna touch upon that. This is issue 4, and now we have issue 5. This one's a good one. For this one, we get a different artist now. Martin Mendoza and Dan Mendoza, I think. One of the Mendozas. Okay, this one's questionable. Am I allowed to show this? Because their breasts are hanging out. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, issue 6. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. Don't ping me on YouTube! Don't ping me! Uh, this one's number 6. This is a virgin variant cover. Virgin means there's no logo or anything. It's just the cover art. So now, um, after the Las Vegas arc, which is the first four, she goes on the road. It's basically her on the road. Doing stuff. You know, getting into some mayhem. Getting into a fight, trying to find food at a like a Chick Fil A type of restaurant. You know, she's trying to. She uses her her her. She attracts people with her sexual abilities, basically her body. You know her. Yeah, we're, we're not touch upon that. She uses like, you know, she uses this. <laughs> to attract, un um, uh, she tr to attract males who don't know any better. This one's the most current one so far. Yeah, it says breaking bath salts. I don't know if it's possible to read that. Breaking bath salts. Yeah. Okay, this one. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to- I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this. So yep, there's- oh. And the weirdest cover for this- for the ninth issue is this one. Uh, it shows a different character, I guess. Her name's Van Plate. I'm assuming they're gonna start a new series, that this publisher is gonna start- a series called Vampire or something, and they're having like a, a crossover with this character in Zombie Ch in Zombie Tram, who, whose real name, who I haven't mentioned yet, is Janie or Janie or something. Uh, I guess they're gonna fight and stuff. So yeah, this one, I'm kind of interested in this character too, so I might subscribe. And I also bought trade paperback issue. It covers the first three, and uh, I want to show you the art, because the art actually... Oops. 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 Dang it, so hard. See? Um, like I said, uh... She uses a spell to appear human, until, unless she loses focus and stuff. And like you see, she's dressed promiscuously. But this one's a good one. Love it. I totally love this. Okay. So that's the trade paperback. The, the next trade paperback, I think, comes out like in a few months. Uh, covering 4, 5, and 6, I think. Or 7. I don't know. Um, no. Probably. Anyway, uh, I told you guys I love Emperor, so this is the 100th issue by Dynamite. It's not really... doesn't follow the story. This one doesn't follow the story. It's basically one-shots and side stories. But, um, for those who like that type of thing, it's 
cool to see, uh, like, side stuff, um, you know, side adventures that she gets into. Like, you know, ghosts, um, fighting other vampires, other, you know, that type of stuff. This, in this one, there's, she fights, like, baby vampires that are born vampires, and they, they lure human, unsex, uns, unexpected humans and feed on them. So, here's a little something different. This one's from IDW, who also publishes Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. This one is, uh, Gem and the Holograms. I wasn't expecting to see something like this. I didn't even know that this was coming out, um, but the, the cover art kind of attracted me, so I bought it on a whim. It's basically, um, based off a 80s TU television show, um, it's basically about a girl band who, uh, who discover, uh, an AI. The lead singer, anyway, discovers that her dad had this crazy secret lab or something and made an AI to help them, um, create holograms and stuff, so the main character uses this hologram to make herself look different, so, to overcome her, uh, stage fright, so, I'm really interested in this, I'm gonna subscribe to the, subscribe to it, and see how it goes, but, um, knowing that this is based off a 80s television show, I might look, look into that, because it's basically, you know, there's music in there, it's, it's, so I gotta, I gotta check it out, but, yeah, it's pretty cool, yep. Gem and Holograms, and the last one, which uh, I was pre pleasantly su surprised how, I how much I liked, is uh, Lady Mechanica. And this is issue 5. Um, I just got into this one. I read it, I liked it, so I want to buy the other four issues prior to this. Um, yeah, this is a cover B. This is a variant cover. It's actually nice looking. Um, it's 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 steampunk, and uh, follows a female main character that is very interesting, and I really want to try it. I really want to read more into this. And like you said, and like I show you guys, a lot of the comics I buy have um follow female characters for the most part because uh, I don't. Like, after reading so much manga and anime, um, I've gotten tired of all the male-centric series, like Naruto and Bleach. Thank God Naruto is over, but... <laughs> but I got... Okay, thank God it's over, but I'm sad about it as well, but... Like I said, I'm tired of the male-centric series that keep popping up, so I'm trying my hand at comic books. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like or subscribe, or leave a comment down below. Um, thank you guys for watching, though, personally, because, um... I just like showing you the things I um, find an interest in, you know, with games or comics or anime. So, thank you again, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!